Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Today we have Hankster's consignment unit to present to you. Uh, this is a car that uh, more the garage is familiar with than myself because uh, this particular gentleman has been a customer of ours for uh, quite a few years. Uh, many of the upgrades that were done on this car were done by us. Um, you know, he has uh, bought himself another toy or two, uh, so he has decided to part with this one. And it's an extremely nice car, so uh, let's get started and kind of check it out. It is a 1971 Chevrolet Chevelle True SS car. Uh, it does have a 454 as indicated on the air cleaner. It does have a cowl tag on the driver's side hood closure that we will have a photo of on our website. The big gold contraption there, that is your power brake booster. The vehicle is equipped with power brakes. Um, the engine is cammed, um, so it does have a, a vacuum assist here uh, for your braking system. It does have power steering. It does have air conditioning. And it does have one hell of a stereo system that we will show you later on in the test drive portion of this video. Our uh, car has so much going for it, starting with the color, uh, red with black stripes. I mean, what more could you ask for when you're talking about a muscle car? Um, so this uh, vehicle is going to be highly desirable because of the color combination and the way that the uh, car is heavily optioned. Let's start out with the hood and tops of the fenders. Your uh, black here, um, I believe that is painted on. I do not feel any kind of vinyl lip. Um, if not, it's definitely cleared over, but I'm, I'm almost 100% certain that that's paint. Uh, the uh, paint on the tops of the fenders and the hood, a real, real nice condition. No clear coat fade, blisters, bubbles, cracks, anything like that going on. Taking a step back from the vehicle, we have an upgraded halo headlight there, LED in the front, SS grill. Uh, chrome on the front bumper is really nice, uh, no issues there, no uh, chrome peel, rust around the bumper bolts, um, anything like that going on. Stepping around to the driver's side of the car, the uh, paint on the car is fantastic, uh, really nice throughout. If we do see anything that's kind of uh, a cause for concern or something we feel should be pointed out, we'll definitely do so. Um, but uh, as far as uh, any kind of... Uh, paint blistering, bubbling, cracking is concerned. I do not believe there's any going on uh, throughout the whole car, but we'll check it here throughout the video presentation. Uh, Krager wheels, um, in nice shape. They're not pitted or rusted. Uh, newer Cooper Cobra tires on the vehicle. Uh, glass clarity on the car is fantastic as well. Let's start out with the front uh, glass. Um, no issues here in terms of any kind of cracks or chips or um, anything like that. Uh, Paint up on the roof, just the same as it was on the hood and the tops of the fenders. Uh, really nice uniform color and clear throughout the entire roof of this vehicle. Jumping back to our glass clarity for a moment. Um, driver's side door glass in nice shape, quarter window glass in nice shape. Uh, you got dual, dual mirrors painted the same color as the car. There are a couple paint chips there on the uh, driver mirror, so keep that in mind. Um, your body lines on the car are real nice. You can see the door closes uh, nice and uh, flush there to the rear quarter. Uh, door gap's good. Let's take a look inside. Um, door panel on the car is fantastic. Uh, really nice vinyl. Chrome's not peeling off the door panel. Armrest isn't ripped or falling off. Uh, the dome light illuminates when I open up the driver door. Uh, you do have rear seat belts in this car, OEM rear seat belts. Uh, headliner is in fantastic shape. Driver's seat, no rips or tears. OEM seat belts up front there. Carpeting underneath your floor mats in great shape. WeatherTech floor mats in the car. Center console staple shifter car. Center console's in great shape. Um, the uh, 
Dash pad's in nice condition. All your uh, gauge and bezel clarity is all fantastic. Looks like newer dash components there, uh, but we'll take a closer look at that when we're actually on the test drive. Let's take a look at the rear quarter. Dropping down from the roof here to the rear quarter, there are, there is like two little scratches right there if you can see them. Okay, but as far as the uh, paint's concerned, dropping down to the rear quarter there, all in real nice shape. Um, no uh, etching, blisters, bubbles, cracks, anything like that going on on the rear quarter on the driver's side of the car. Around your wheel openings in good shape. Check out the uh, glass clarity on the rear windshield there. Um, real nice, you can see throughout the uh, glass there. Uh, nice condition. Your uh, deck lid. The uh, striping on that looks to be in good shape. Paint on the tops of the quarters and the deck lid there, all in nice condition. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper, just as nice as it was in the front bumper. Both uh, front and rear bumpers look relatively newer. Um, no kind of chrome issue whatsoever on either one. In the trunk, you got that JL Audio sub. Got a WeatherTech floor mat there. Um, there is, uh, you know, in Florida you get some, there's no rust holes in the trunk, you know, but you do get some uh, condensation in the trunk when it's parked in an air conditioned garage and then you pull it outside and you have 100% humidity, you know, the, uh, it sweats there underneath the uh, mat and you get a little bit of surface rust there, but there are no rust holes, rot holes, anything in the trunk. It's real nice, real nice and solid. Okay, let's check out the uh, passenger side of the car. Um, again, there's no issues here whatsoever um, in terms of any kind of paint issues down low, um, blistering, bubbling, cracking around the wheel opening. There's a little tiny bubble right there behind the drip rail, and then there's like a little tiny bubble right there, and a little tiny one. Like, Couple little tiny bubbles like right here. Nothing real uh, big or obvious or, you know, god awful to look at, but you know, just a couple tiny bumps right there. You can't see it from three feet away, but if you get up on the car with the camera like we just did, you're gonna see them. Uh, rear quarter glass, uh, door glass there on the passenger side, real nice. Uh, the uh, passenger side door pulls in real nicely to the rear quarter. Uh, nice straight body lines on the car. Take a look in the passenger side of the interior. Uh, again, the door panels, seats, center console, everything looks, you know, relatively new or, or brand new. Uh, again, we did a lot of work to this car, um, so Nate would be able to uh, tell you a lot more about it than I can. You know, those guys did all the work over there, a lot of the work over the years, um, but absolutely fantastic condition, interior and exterior. Uh, the car, uh, you know, vintage AC, um, you know, power steering, power brakes, awesome radio system, great looking interior, fantastic color combination, great ear. Let's take a look at the uh, bottom of the passenger door. Real nice uh, car. There's no uh, real extreme paint issues with the car. A couple of minor imperfections that's to be expected with a car of this age. Um, interior conditions, excellent. Uh, the undercarriage of the car is excellent. We'll look at that, that here in a couple minutes. Uh, the engine compartment's absolutely fantastic with all the uh, components and the uh, upgrades that have been done there. Um, just an awesome car. And we are lucky enough to be able to consign it here at Hankster's in Daytona Beach. We're going to put it up in here and check out the undercarriage, and after that, we'll drive it. I do encourage you to come in person to check this car out for yourself. Uh, this is not a Hankster certified unit. This is a Hankster's uh, consignment car. So it doesn't go through our shop. We don't check any of the normal stuff that we do. But, uh, you know, we can tell you this car has been pretty well maintained because we've done a lot of the maintenance and a lot of the upgrades on it. So um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a car that is the only thing we haven't done to make it a Hankster certified unit is actually put it through our inspection system. But uh, the gentleman that owned it really kept uh, really good care of the vehicle so but again i encourage you to check it out in person for yourself 
these are old cars. They're 30, 40, 50 years old. They're not new. Um, we are not going to be able to disclose every single positive aspect of this car in our video, uh, as well as all the negatives of this, this car. You know, on a 50-year-old car, you're going to have mechanical deficiencies, cosmetic deficiencies, you know, things like that, some of which we try to point out and disclose in these videos. But again, I only disclose what I feel is important or significant. You may be a lot more uh, particular or specific when it comes to buying an old car, and that's perfectly okay. Uh, but you know, we are representing this as a consignment driver quality vehicle, which is what it is. Um, so you can come check it out yourself. We'll be happy to pull it outside for you. You can check out the paint real good out in the natural sunshine. We'll put it in the air for you if you'd like us to. We have two racks here at our showroom in Daytona. We can put it up in the air. You can check out the undercarriage portion, floor pans, suspension components, tire condition, bottom of the motor and transmission. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how it accelerates, stops, steers, handles, rides. If there's any kinds of squeaks, rattles, vibrations you don't like or care for. This way when the car shows up wherever you might be located at, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. We sell a lot of cars sight unseen. I've sold cars, three and four cars, to multiple buyers um, that have never come to our showroom and met myself or any of the sales staff face to face. So it's very um, <clears throat> normal for us to do that. We conduct 90% of our business that way. That is why when you go on our website, you see 80 to 100 photographs of each car, as well as a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. Even on consignment cars, we do videos. Why? Because we're an internet-based business and that's how we sell our cars. That's how we sell our product. But if you've never owned a classic car before or you're a more specific or particular buyer, do yourself a favor and check it out in person. Let's put our 71 Chevelle up in the air and we'll check out the undercarriage portion of this car. Underneath our 1971 Chevrolet Big Block Chevelle. Disc brakes up front on this car. We can get a really good shot of the front seal in the front of the pan here past the cross member. Everything looks to be dry at this time. You have uh, tubular lower control arms and tubular upper control arms. Long tube headers, newer. It doesn't appear that they're uh, collapsed or punctured in any way. Uh, new Hypo mini starter on the passenger side. <coughs> Flywheel is exposed. Transpan, everything looks to be dry at this time from what I can see. Speedo cables dry. Tail shaft seal looks dry. Cross member supporting the trans up is in good shape. <clears throat> uh, dual pipes here coming off your headers and they do have a uh, Custom cutouts on them. Uh, we did this over at this, again, uh, as I mentioned earlier, a local customer of ours. Uh, they did this over at the garage, put exhaust cutouts onto the uh, exhaust system there. So that looks to be in, in good shape. And the exhaust system we did also, all new. Uh, headers, mufflers, pipes, uh, cutouts, all of it. Floor pans on the car look to be in good shape here. Let's take a look first at the driver's side. No patchwork, no silicone. Passenger side's the same way. Looks good throughout the entire uh, length of the passenger side of the floor pan there. Uh, brand new Flowmaster mufflers. Drum brakes in the rear of this vehicle. and a 12 bolt rear to pair with that uh, big block up front. <clears throat> Gas tank's in good shape. It's not caved in or collapsed in. Your uh, frame rails on the car look to be in great shape. <clears throat> Check our tire age here. What do we got? Uh, we got Coopers and I think the date code's on the inside. But look, plenty of tread. No issues there. Your wear bars are way down inside of the uh, treads there. So plenty of life left on those Cooper tires. 
1971 Chevrolet Chevelle, we're going to drop it down on the ground and take it on a test drive. Before we do that, let's discuss payment options. If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do 5 to 15 year loans on these cars. 10% down of the purchase price. So if you're talking about a car that's 50 grand, talking about $5,000 down out of pocket. You could do more if you'd like to, but they're going to require a minimum of 10% even if your credit score is perfect. If your credit score is a little lower or your debt to income is a little higher, you might even have to put 15 to 20% down, but we have no say in that. We simply provide the lending options for you and then you know, the, 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 the down payment, monthly payment term rate, um, that's between you and the lender. If you like what you hear, you can give us a call back, shoot us a text, or um, send us an email, and we can definitely get the sales process started for you. Once a vehicle is funded in full, on a consignment car, it's ready for transport after we detail it, of course. Um, typically, we can have a driver here within a 48-hour window if uh, you're going to get our assistance with the shipping. But if you're handling your own shipping logistics or coming to get the car, we will let you know when it's ready. Keep in mind that, you know, we showed you a couple items here that the garage has done for our local uh, customer. Uh, you know, we do everything at Hankster's Garage from AC work to, um, you know, power steering conversions, uh, rack and pinion steering, power four-wheel disc brakes, TMI interiors, uh, retro radios with Bluetooth. And if you don't have a classic car, maybe you have a newer vehicle, maybe it's a newer Jeep or a newer truck or SUV, uh, Nerf bar packages, weather tech packages, wheel and tire packages, winch kits, pretty much any automotive accessory that you're looking for for your vehicle, we can handle at Hankster's Garage. So 2385 South Ridgewood, if you're local to us here in Daytona Beach. And if you're not and you're buying a car from us, uh, we can pretty much have everything done for you prior to your vehicle leaving this way when it arrives to you, wherever you might be located. It's turnkey, just the way you want it. HankstersGarage.com, check us out. We're going to set our 1971 Chevelle down on the ground. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day here in Central Florida. We'll take it on a test drive and show you how the car runs. Inside our 71 Chevelle, first let's put the AC on because it's hot out today. I'll turn it up high so you guys can hear it, and then I'm going to kick it down. And it does blow ice cold. We'll kick it down a little bit. All right, horn. Tilt. Wipers. Tack. Fuel gauge works. 835 miles is not the true miles on the car. Exempt title, so true miles unknown. Driver side turn. Passenger side turn. There's temp, battery voltage, and oil pressure down low. Radio sounds fantastic. Great sounding system in this car. Uh, so some aftermarket gauges are working, AC, everything seems to be working, the clock's even ticking in this car. Dash pad looks good. Headliner looks good. The interior we showed you in the showroom, it's immaculate. Really nice car. Let's see how it runs. car runs fantastic. Speedo is working. Steering on this car is nice and tight. Car has a really nice smooth ride to it. Um, you know, this particular gentleman used it as almost a daily driver here in the state of Florida. So again, it is uh, in tip top shape uh, mechanically. Uh, Temperature is cooling properly, charging properly, good oil pressure. Really nice car, the way that it runs and performs. Great response in the throttle. No hesitation, spitting, sputtering. Nice uh, tracking up front nicely, no tire vibration. Uh, steering wheels lined up like it should be. No engine vibration, tranny vibration. Car bangs through the gears nice, just like it should. 
check our brakes here. Got a tiny bit of pull to the left, nothing drastic at all, uh, but there's no uh, pulsation, vibration out of the brakes whatsoever. They stop the car just like they should. There's 70 right away. Training shifts perfect. Engine performance is outstanding. Um, you know, great response in the throttle. Transmission shifts at the points just like it should. Uh, rear end's correct for the car in terms of, you know, performance. Um, we're cooling. It's about, it's over 90 right now uh, in terms of degrees outside. So we're 190 on the uh, temp there, which is fantastic for a big block in the state of Florida. Ice cold AC, great sound and tunes. Red, black stripe, center console, staple shifter. Awesome car. 1971 Chevrolet Chevelle, and it is available here at Hangster's Hot Rods of Daytona. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach if you are interested in this fantastic 1971 Chevelle. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this vehicle along with this video presentation you're watching right at this very moment. At full retail price, this car does not include shipping and does not include a warranty because it is a consignment car. We can help you with shipping logistics if you need us to. Uh, there will just be an additional cost for doing so. Um, and as far as warranty is concerned, there is none um, on a consignment car. So. Is the price of the car negotiable? It is somewhat negotiable. Um, you know, but again, at full retail price, it does not include a warranty or shipping on a consignment vehicle. If you uh, are local to us here in the Sunshine State and you don't need shipping, you can certainly come pick this car up because it runs cool and you got ice cold AC in here. And if you're buying the car and you have your own carrier, be it somebody you've used in the past you had a good experience with, or you have your own trailer, you're more than welcome to come uh, trailer this vehicle home, send your carrier for it. Maybe if you're coming with your trailer, you can make a couple day vacation here in Daytona Beach. There's a lot of cool stuff to do, restaurants on the water to eat at, beaches to go to. Um, you know, you got the Speedway real close to us. You can go do a tour of the Speedway if you'd like to. Lots of cool stuff to do here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters Hot Rods, Central Florida, Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. Check us out. We'd love to earn your business.